two services are agreeing to communicate with each other. Now that contract, unfortunately, is something that is the least thought exercise in the companies that I have seen. People end up writing code first and then they think about contract. Right? If you have a contract driven approach, essentially it means you draw a contract first. What kind of communication you are going to have between service A and service B? Is it going to be synchronous or asynchronous? And irrespective of what choice you make based on the SLAs, uh, that contract needs to be clearly defined and then need to be tested against. So it is a very essential step when you go on to microservices journey to have a contract driven approach.